We've spoken about the elements of operational art before. Lines of operations and lines of effort. Another element a commander and staff consider is what's called the center of gravity. This is the source of power that provides the will to act, moral or physical strength, and freedom of action. Essentially, this provides the commander and staff a focal point in order to identify sources of strength and weaknesses. Now, an enemy can have multiple centers of gravity. They can adapt and they have many complex systems sometimes. So destroying or capturing one may not defeat them entirely or in the campaign. But centers of gravity aren't limited to military forces alone. Physical centers of gravity, such as a capital city or military force, can often be influenced by military means. Affecting moral centers of gravity usually requires all the instruments of national power, and virtual centers of gravity are not geographically bound. They may include a decentralized enemy, like violent extremist ideologies or non-nation state actors. When a commander and staff consider the enemy's center of gravity, they must understand the operational environment. The team then analyzes them in detail, so be cautious of hasty analysis because that can adversely affect operations, waste resources, and incur unnecessary risk. For more information on the elements of operational art, check out ADP 3.0 and ADP 5.0, and you can download those from the Army Publishing Directorate at armypubs.army.mil.